Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Wall is brought to you by Monmouth Medical Center in Long Branch. We got a battle of unbeatens in the short conference. St. John Vianney off to a 3-0 start. It's SJV at Wall. Coach Ed Guerreri has rebuilt the Crimson Knights. They're 3-0 as well. Buckle up for one of the wildest games of the young season. The Wall defense set the tone early in this battle. Justin Davis hog ties Zach LaBarca to get the sack. The Wall defense would make some huge plays throughout this game. Fourth to three from the 25. Wall's going for it. Heath Reinhardt has a hold. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. Great cutback. A 25-yard touchdown run. At the end of one, Wall with a 7-0 lead. Second quarter, quarterback Franny Scaramolino rolls right. He's got Reinhardt wide open. Heath Reinhardt's making his second house call tonight. 55 yards. Wall takes a 14-0 lead. The Wall defense was relentless in the first quarter and a half. Justin Davis causes the fumble. St. John Vianney is forced to punt after another big time play from the Wall D. Here's SJV in punt formation. The snap sails into the back of the end zone. He got the kick off, but Wall's got two more points on the board. That's a safety. The Crimson Knights in front, 16 to nothing. Wall penalties and a bad snap on a punt gives SJV the ball in plus territory. And here's the super sophomore. Abdul Ture emerging as one of New Jersey's top running backs. Ture caps this drive from a yard out. The Lancers are back in it. It's a 16-6 game. On the ensuing kickoff, Mason Adam loses the handle for a moment, but picks it up at the 12. Adam finds a seam. He's got wheels. Mason Adam with separation. It looks like an 88-yard kickoff return, but hold on. Jaden Griffith jars the ball, losing the one but Luke Davis is able to fall on it in the end zone. Davis gets credit for the touchdown. Adam did the heavy lifting for 87 of those 88 yards. What a wild play. It's now 22-6, wall in front. The Lancers close out the half strong. Zach LaBarca over the middle to Adam Erse. It's a five yard TD. We've got a 22-12 ball game. Then the Lancers go for two. LaBarca to Nico Aquilone. At the half, St. John Vianney rallies to make it a 22-14 game. Third quarter, LaBarca and SJV near midfield. This pass deflected by Adam, picked off by Derek Boss. Wall would not cash in on the turnover. St. John Vianney would dominate the rest of the third. Following a bad snap on a punt, Abdul Ture initiates some serious yards after contact. Ture springs loose, 37 yards. Two-point conversion is no good. It's now 22 to 20. Abdul Ture was on a mission. This is his third touchdown run of the game from seven yards out. And St. John Vianney takes the lead. From 16 nothing down, it's now 26-22 Lancers as we head to the fourth. Under six minutes to go. Franny Scarmolino swings it out to Tony Cradle. Looks like he's down. Nope, he escapes danger. Breaks another tackle and he's got daylight. Tony Cradle, 58 yards for the lead. He broke the plane before he was stripped. Wall with a 29-26 lead with 5.24 to go in the fourth. Can St. John Vianney take the lead back? Here's Zach LaBarca on the run. Mason Adams sends him airborne. What a hit. He's four yards short of the first down. It's now fourth down for the Lancers. Mason is pumped up. SJV is going for it. LaBarca to the air. There's Adam to break up the pass. 2.34 to go, Wall can win it with a first down. St. John Vianney uses its timeouts and forces a punt. The snap is over Heath Reinhardt's head. In desperation mode, he heaves up a wounded duck. Dirk Hohenkirk with the interception. He takes it all the way down to the eight yard line. With 1.50 to go, the Landers have first and goal. They're eight yards away from taking the lead. The wall defense makes two big stops. It's now third and goal from the five. The Lancers run the option. Ture doesn't have it. It's a fumble. Joey Vaccaro picks it up. He's got daylight in front of him. Ture tries to stop him, but Joey Vac takes it back. 90 yards on the scoop and score. Wall looked like it was about to lose. Instead, the Crimson Knights defense make it a 10 point cushion and a 4-0 mark in one of the wildest finishes of the year in New Jersey. 36 to 26 is your final. Wall made some big time plays. Four touchdowns over 50 yards. Joey Vaccaro's defensive heroics was the difference.
he was fired up when we talked with him after the win. You know, no one, absolutely no one picked us. And we took that to heart. And that gave us the extra drive and motive factor to win this game. And that's what happened. <laughs> oh, this big. This big. This big for everybody at Wall Township. We back, baby. It was wild. It was wild. But I got to tell you, our kids fought hard and they're starting to believe and they're starting to learn how to win, which is important. You know, I, I told them that you, it's going to come, but you're going to get to the point where you're going to learn how to win. And winning is contagious. And uh, they all believed and nobody got down when they jumped on us a little bit at the end of the game. They got ahead. Uh, we came back. We had a, a lot of resiliency and, and I thought we did an outstanding job.